it out. Okay, so I'll assume that you place an SD card in the right hand side of the unit and we're fired up and ready to go. But before we actually make a recording, I'm gonna take a quick visit to one of our recording courses uh, to understand the very first thing you need to grasp when making recordings. The range of levels that a recorder can capture is known as its dynamic range. That's the limit on what's the most quiet and the most loudest sound that it can record. Now, our job is to set the levels of our input so that we get close to, but not exceed the maximum limit. Now, both of these extremes, down here and up here, have dangers of their own. Down here is the inherent noise of any signal path, the low level hiss and hum of, say, your mic cable, for example. I wouldn't set my level way down here because it is down in what we call the noise floor. Then if you later wanted to amplify this recorded audio, you would bring up the noise floor too, giving you a horrible signal to noise ratio. Now I also don't want to set my levels up here so that it peaks at the top because I'll get distortion. Set your levels so they average at around minus 12 to minus 16 dB. So you have a little headroom for occasional peaks. So do you now understand how setting proper recording levels really is just a key to excellent recordings? You get that now?